Hi there, I'm Victor with Adventure Engineering LLC and I'm going to be giving you a brief overview and go over the basic workings of the Parapole, a paracord based 450 pound low capacity block and tackle kit. Inside of the Parapole block and tackle kit you'll find the following items. There are two three pulley split block assemblies, 100 feet of 550 paracord, three carabiners, modular cord locker, 12 feet of 4,000 pound breaking strength one inch wide nylon tubular webbing, T-handle pulling aid, and very importantly a set of instructions. Parapole pole comes configured from the factory with five active pulleys and the sixth pulley is the anchor point for the loop end of the cord. By active pulleys I mean that the pulleys are actually rolling as the cord is being moved across them. Other configurations are available by taking the carabiner off, splitting the blocks apart by slight twisting motion and pulling and you can see there's a little locking pin in there. And then removing and replacing the cord from the pulleys as you see fit. In a separate video I'll go over setting up different configurations. To use the parapole block and tackle you want to begin by creating strong load and anchor attachment points. And in this case I've done so with the included one inch nylon webbing. The blocks themselves can be attached to the webbing with the carabiners. And I'm going to go ahead and lift this load up. And we're going to use the uh, included pulling aid. And to do so, take and wrap the paracord around once, twice, flip it over, go around once, twice. And that creates a real nice T handle for you to grab onto. And so in this case, I'm going to be lifting an 80 pound bag of concrete. And there we go just that easy. Now the limitations of the parapole are 450 pounds of force generated and 75 pounds maximum of pull on the cord itself. So really want to emphasize that do not exceed 75 pounds of pulling force on the paracord. In this case I'm well within those limits I'm pulling you know, you know, approximately 20 pounds or so. Should you choose, you can use the modular cord locker. This is a rope cleat based device that grips a cord in one direction and allows it to slide freely in the other. To begin with, you push the release button, which gives a slot opening that contains the cleats. And we'll place the cord into that opening. Let go of the button. And notice how when I pull down, the cord is gripped. Push up, the device is allowed to slide, it's gripped. Now I want to state that the modular cord locker has a 40 pound maximum holding force. Do not exceed 40 pounds of pull on this device. To use the modular cord locker on the block assemblies, start by making sure that the axle extension is pushed fully to the side that has the cord that you're pulling on. This creates a region for the modular cord locker to hook onto. Slide it into the groove there and press firmly until you hear a nice solid click. Check to make sure it is fully engaged. And as we just showed earlier, press the release button, place the cord into the slot opening, and there we go. We're ready to use the modular cord locker on the block assembly. I'm going to demonstrate lifting a load now utilizing the modular cord locker attached to the block assembly. And notice how I pull and then let up on the pulling cord, the load stays in position. That's the advantage of using the modular cord locker. Letting the load back down again while using the modular cord locker requires two hands. Your left hand is going to be used to take up the full pulling force on the cord and the right hand is going to be used to press the release button. So to begin we pull back the full cord load weight with our left hand, push the release button swing the cord out of the cleat region of the modular cord locker, allow the cord to travel forward, let up on the release button, 
re-engage the cleats, verify the re-engagement, and we'll slide the pulling aid down a little bit. Take the full cord load with our left hand, push the release button with our right, allow the cord to travel forward, let up on the release button, re-engage the cleats, verify the engagement, and then just repeat as necessary until the load is in a position you want to be in. In the Parapult Owner's Manual, under the Modular Cord Locker section, there is a statement about not exceeding 40 pounds of pulling force or whatever you can comfortably pull back with one hand, whichever is less. So to, to make that clear, I need to release the Modular Cord Locker, I need to be able to pull back with the full load force, my left hand, so I can push the release button with my right hand to let the load down in a controlled manner. Let go of the release button again. And I'm going to regrip my pulling aid here to a, another location. Pull back with the left hand, full load weight, push the release button with right, put the load down. So what this means is that you're restricted to no more than 40 pounds while using the modular cord locker. Without the modular cord locker, you can pull up to 75 pounds, but you do lose that load holding ability. But you might find yourself in a situation where you need to move more force than what you can safely do with the cord locker. Don't use it. If you're pulling more than 40 pounds, or what you can comfortably pull with one hand, then don't use the modular cord locker. Another way you can utilize the modular cord locker is independent of the blocks. And in this case, I've already set an anchor at, let's pretend this is the base of a tree, for example, and I've got the, the upper block assembly located high up in a tree branch, so I wouldn't have access to the cord locker. And so, you know, with the carabiner, I'll attach to the cord locker, place the cord in the cord locker as we described previously, and pull the slack out of the system here, use a pulling aid. There we go. So hopefully this video has given you a good basic idea as to what the parapole is and how to go about using it. And make sure you read and understand the owner's manual and abide by all the limitations and warnings. And I'm going to make a fairly obvious statement here. When you have your parapole kit with you, what you have with you is 100 feet of 550 seven strand paracord. You have three carabiners. You have 12 feet of one inch wide nylon tubular webbing. And those materials along with a pocket knife and a little ingenuity can go a long ways to solving a lot of problems out in the field. Thanks.